Mm. Kisses. Hmm. Hello. Oops. Welcome to Jason Chats. Ow. Let's say hello to everyone. Hello. Hello. Welcome to jasonchats.com with me and Andre, who, I don't know what he's doing, he's just been spending some uh, special time with his girlfriend, haven't you? My former slipper. We should give her a name, shouldn't we? Go away, go away. Okay. See this is my uh, t-shirt. World's best fairy dad. <sighs> so <sighs> today is being I say this every day, it's been a strange day, and it's not really strange, but I woke up this morning. I was up to about half two, two o'clock, half two this morning. Went to bed, woke up about 11-ish, yeah, about 11. Had a, as far as I'm aware, had a fairly good sleep. And I got up, I've been working on my website stuff last night on my YouTube channel <laughs> already it's like oh my YouTube channel the I think it was the relaxation channel the one of the videos was um, flagged or something I'm not sure what but it's basically been deleted and I've had a a strike on my YouTube channel which won't go away until July the, on that channel not the others but just that one so yeah it's a bit excuse me a second Andre's let me show you what Andre's doing there you go he has to knock stuff on the floor he can't help himself Move this out of the way. Bet you knocks it on the floor. Bet you. Oh no, now he knows we're watching him. He gets very self conscious. professionalism of these videos. Come on cuddles, come on then. Come on then. Oh. I think he actually does. I think he does like being part of these videos a little bit. He's sometimes he's really cuddly. He's really quite quite loving. Other times I don't know. I'm not sure how to explain it but Let's go down a bit so you can see him. <sighs> yeah. Beautiful little thing. Are you beautiful? Yes, you are. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh. Oh. Off. Okay, alright. Oh, it hurts my wrist and my hand a little bit holding him, but I've took the support off. This is my hand at the moment. I can't, 
that's as far as I can bend it without it hurting and that's as far as I can straighten it but those fingers are alright it's just that bit that's that's still so two weeks on it's two weeks tomorrow that I broke it anyway so I woke up this morning I made a bore let me bore you to sleep session so it's the I forget what number it was but it's, I think it's the third day in a row or whatever that I've been doing it I had my breakfast and I felt tired I couldn't have any cereal because I didn't have any milk so I had some toast and marmalade which uh, I'm not saying that's why I was tired but hey padding some bear seems to have quite a lot of energy on it but anyway I had that and I just wanted to go back to bed I was tired felt tired, had enough, but I spent a couple of hours doing stuff on the internet, uploading that session, because I have to process it, so once I record it on the recording studio thing, it then takes quite a while to process into an mp3, and then I have to upload it, then I have to edit it, and then upload it to the, once it's processed, download it I suppose once it's edited then upload it again to SoundCloud and to Podomatic Podcasts, those two. And then convert it into a video to upload onto my sleep hypnosis, Jason Newland's sleep hypnosis YouTube channel. So after doing that, I doing that, after doing that, I had had enough, went back to bed and just felt tired, just felt tired. I had these periods when I'm like this and I got up for a couple of hours and I went back to bed again and then I got up at half six, watched the news till about seven, took Andre out for a walk, then came back. I've been in since, cooked myself a pizza and I've eaten half of it, just I had enough of pizza, don't like him anymore and I've just been working on my website, I found a friend, my friend was telling me that I should get a Patreon account and I said I've already, well, kind of already got a Patreon account but I've not been really using it I've not even looked at it for ages, I've not been promoting it or anything. So he said, uh, sort of, said, why am I sabotaging myself? The thing is, like, this is someone that I respect a lot, someone that's helped me a lot in my adult life. Uh, one of the few people that actually had some faith in me and actually believed in me, uh, believed that I could do some good stuff, believed that I could, um, I suppose believed that I could be what I wanted to be, to a degree, you know. But I know that this helping people for free just grinds people, everyone, pretty much that I've ever told about it. See, it goes so far against the, well, I don't want to use the word the grain, but I suppose, you know, for, I'm sure there's better ways of expressing it, but it goes against some kind of inbuilt belief system that we're indoctrinated into, I suppose, at birth, part of this society that we're in. And I've got no issue with the society we're in, it's all I've ever known. Um, and I've got no problem with buying things. So I'm not like I'm giving away this stuff free and expecting everybody else to give their stuff away free, because I don't. I don't expect to go into a shop and get my food for free. You know, I understand that 
it's a business and people are working, they need to get paid and all that stuff, you know, it's a chain of, you know, it's, it's just how this society runs, money. But, for me, isn't it, it's about doing what feels right, doing what fits into the person that I am, fits together there. Which is why I've been doing it free, doing this free stuff for 12 years, over 12 years now. And it's not even that, it's, I've tried to, so I've made some professional CDs a few years ago, back in 2008 I think it was. 2000, yeah about 2008. And I pr produced three professional CDs, I actually went to a recording studio, produced them, got the CD covers, got stuff printed out, you know, I tried it, really did put in a lot of effort into it. I wasn't hugely pleased with the outcome of the CDs because considering it was a recorded studio, recording, a professional recording studio, I could still hear, well, in my, I could think I could hear the rain sounds on the roof. You think that a recording studio wouldn't have a metal roof, wouldn't you? Mm, you know, I mean, I'm not an expert, but maybe not. Yeah, they did. It's, uh, it's, it's quite funny, really. Anyway, I recorded those sessions. I spent a few hundred pound doing it as well. I sold a few. I was self-employed at the time with the counselling and the therapy and so it's all part of that process. I didn't sell many but I sold a few. But I just lost interest. I lost interest in trying to sell stuff. I've had periods when I've made all my MP3s available to download for a pound but free to play, you know, free to stream, pound to download. And then I do that for a while and then I just give up and, re you know, return it back to how it was. It's not that I'm desperate to be poor. But I can see the benefit of having money. One of the benefits for me would to have a nice bit of money, you know, would be if a family member or a friend needed medical help, but prop, you know, uh, in, you know, very quickly. So instead of being on a waiting list, so for, for example, I don't, I'm not going to mention a person, but a person needed to be seen for and needed the results of uh, you know exams and medical exams and to get tested for something and then needed treatment I'd want to be able to take them to a private hospital or get private medical help and get them tested and get the results really quickly and then get them treated really quickly no wait, waiting for a few weeks or anything like that I'm not so bothered about myself, but I think I'd like to be able to do that for someone else, whether it's a friend or a relative, you know? So that would be a benefit of having some decent money in my bank. I do sometimes go to sleep and I have this, this little fantasy of winning the lottery and Oh, you know, I'd love to win a huge amount. Wouldn't matter if I mean if I won two thousand pound, it'd make a huge difference to my life now. But I'm just thinking, if I was to win like a, the big jackpot, I just fantasise about what I could do with that money. How I could, you know, maybe put on a big party and have family and friends and people from the past, maybe that have helped me, and bring them all in and just. I've always got this uh, accountant with me, 
in my mind someone that looks after the money writes out the checks or gives the cash maybe a suitcase full of cash and just hand it out to people you know 10 grand to some people 100 grand 500 grand a million to my dad my brother sister you know that kind of stuff and it would be just so cool I think to maybe sort of give half of it away or a big chunk of it away For me, I've never had consistently any, like, large, well, I've never had a large amount of money, but I've never had the consistent money, you know, like not anything decent. I did all right when I was in, not in security, in um, insurance for a while, but even then, it wasn't like lots of money. It was comfortable enough to get by. Which brings me to my next subject, which is very much linked. So my next thing is, I thought, okay, I'll revisit the Patreon. What is it, patreon.com or, wait a sec. I don't know, let me go to my website and have a look. Patreon or patreon.com. P A T R E O N dot com forward slash Jason Newland. So uh, I have a Patreon account. So please support me on my Patreon. On Patreon. Patreon dot com forward slash Jason Newland. That's what I put on my SoundCloud thing. So basically, if you want to support me and my work, really looking at trying to find a way to cover the costs, the monthly running costs of the internet stuff I do. Uh, cover the costs of the website, hosting, the domain names every year, because I've got quite a few websites. SoundCloud, Podomatic, I've got a few Podomatic uh, podcasts that I pay for. Podbean, I pay for that one for the Hypnotic Buffet. Uh, what else is there? There's the internet as well that I need. So I don't, I've got a heart broadband, so I need to pay for that. Um, also, my phone, so because I make the videos on my phone, so I need to cover the cost of the video of the phone uh, monthly. <laughs> Listen to him. Andre. Shh. Okay, he's got no interest in being quiet at this time of night. Okay. I'm going to grab him. It gets very noisy at times. Like it's nearly one o'clock. I don't want him banging around and making noise because it's not fair on the neighbours. But if I put him in his cage, he'll be scratching and he'll be biting at the at the bars, uh, trying to pull them out. It's very, very full of energy sometimes at the wrong times. And even today when I was trying to sleep during the day, he kept jumping on the bed and biting my toes and I kept putting him on the floor again, he kept jumping up again and biting my toes. A bit like the Flintstones, you know, the what is it, the, the dinosaur, and he keeps put Fred keeps putting it outside, and he keeps jumping back in the window. That's what he's like. Yes, it is. Isn't it just like what you're like? Like yeah, yeah, us. What's that? What are you looking at? His attention was very focused over there for some reason. I'm gonna, ow, oh God, it hurts my hand. I'm gonna hold you. There you go, just holding you. I have to cut your nails as well. Your nails are due for a cut, I'll do that tomorrow. So, 
So if you want to support me on Patreon, or Patreon, Patreon, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, the link is in the description box of this video. If you're watching it on um, YouTube, and I guess I'll put the description in jasonchats.com website as well. <sighs> Emotionally, I'm not sure where I am. I'm tired. And I feel like I shouldn't be tired because I've been asleep during the day. I didn't have like great sleep, but I was laying there. And, and something happened last night. I had an email last night. And I don't know, it just kind of got me, got me thinking about some stuff. But that's it, really. If you want to, I was also, uh, if you go to my Facebook page, it's a lovely video that Boston Chicky posted. I reposted it on my my Facebook page. Go and, go and check it out if you like. Basically, it's the only video on my Facebook page that isn't of me. So then you could say it's a lady on there. Because I don't, I don't have my page so that anyone can post stuff on there. If I do, I get bombarded with some things, that, and it just means that because I've got so many people on my Facebook, it means that my own stuff gets lost, and I'm only really on there to promote my newest sessions really, that's the only reason I was ever on Facebook, uh, just to promote my stuff. Along the way I've got to meet some nice people, online anyway, and you know, I spoke to some people on Skype and Facebook and on live broadcasts, streaming and stuff with Boston Chicky, Sebastian, Sebastian Ian, Sebastian Ian, that's it, Sebastian Ian. Sir Bastard Ian, that's his name. He's, uh, I think he's like Japanese German. I was going to say hybrid, but that's not the correct term, is it? But he's, yeah, he's, uh, I think he's in the SS, I'm not sure. So he's, uh, oh, I'm tired. Ooh. Not much going on around here. I don't know, I just... I feel really good that I've... The plays and the downloads of my hypnosis sessions around, along the board, the board, broad board, you know, in the various different podcasts are doing really well really much better than they have done for a while. So I'm pleased with that. Over 5,000 downloads uh, the last week. I'm pleased. That, it might sound really silly, but I'd rather have a million downloads a week than be given a hundred grand a week. Or maybe one week for a hundred grand and the rest of the week's nothing. And one grand, maybe one one week a year I can get paid, I don't know, but it's the idea of being able to reach more people. That's what um, feels good to me. Usually, not always, but you know, that's the the hook, that's the, that's what I'm grabbing for, that's what I'm trying to accomplish, not just to get viewers and, you know, but to get hopefully people that benefit a little bit from what I do. The YouTube channel for the sleep hypnosis sessions is growing nicely and when I, whenever I do a new uh, Let Me Bore You To Sleep, I, I upload it onto that Jason Newland's Sleep Hypnosis YouTube channel. 
so that's that's quite nice I suppose putting on regular stuff on there helps it grow and I've now got seven subscribers it's not bad it's <laughs> seven I used to have thousands in the past on different YouTube channels but it's okay it's got hopefully it will grow and at least people know where to go if all they want is sleep stuff stuff for sleep they know they can just go there I mean as far as my stuff if they you know obviously there's other YouTube channels that are much more successful than me um, that are possibly a lot better than me as well but if you like what I do and all you're interested in sleep hypnosis or sleep sessions then that's a good YouTube channel to go to and the Podomatic uh, podcast is a good one as well because all my sleep stuff's on there so it's nice to have that like a particular place and that Podomatic sleep hypnosis chat podcast I've got is um, the second most successful podcast I've got on a daily basis next to my main one which is the SoundCloud one SoundCloud? SoundCloud um, that's my main podcast which is also on iTunes and various different places and I get I can tell you what my stats are for the SoundCloud one because it's in front of me the last 24 hours I've had 344 um, plays so on there I get plays rather than da downloads you can download stuff but not many people would seem to with Podomatic it's more downloads and plays I think well it is because they give the stats for that in the last 7 days on my main podcast I've had 2,521 plays and all together since I've had this podcast I've got 147,628 plays so that's quite cool um, I don't know what the I love looking at stats isn't it weird I think it's something to do with uh, so in the last 30 days I've had 9,850 plays on my mate, it's just on the one podcast. And in the last 12 months, I've had 94,000.1. So 94,100 plays in the last year. And let me have a look, get you an idea. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me just check. Since this year, let's do how much for this year. Oh no. Da, 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 da. Well, this is exciting, isn't it? Okay. Right, so according to this. Huh. Is that right? Uh, between January of this year so far, because now the 5th of April or the 4th of April, 30,000, 30.8 thousand, 30,800 plays, 417 downloads. Yeah. That's about makes sense, doesn't it? About 10,000 a month. But it's growing, so it's cool. And while I'm here, I might as well just give you some of the other stats. I feel like I should show you, but I can't be bothered to pick the thing up. So on my hypnosis for sleep, sleeping deeply, Right, 
so I think between I only launched this podcast on the 8th of March so it's less than a month so in the last month I've had 2,408 downloads that, uh, that's uh, yeah 2,408 but it's going up continuously 134 yesterday it's not very exciting is it so according to this 643 700 nearly 800 in the last 7 days with to, with yesterday, so three thousand four. Plus, I got all the other different podcasts as well. So it's quite cool. I think I've got like two hundred and ten thousand downloads just on two podcasts. Yeah, another two that I never actually paid for. I just put it's my thirty day relaxation plan, and my seven day insomnia course. I put them on Podomatic. I think six years ago, and I had two hundred and ten thousand between the two of them. So that's quite cool. I like that. And the thing is, because I'm paying, I think I'm paying for three podcasts on Podomatic. That one costs me about twenty pound a month, if not more, for sleep because there's so many sessions. It takes up a lot of data. Um, and it's number two in the alternative health category of Podomatics. They have their own. Um, data, their own, um, what do you call it, their own, their own categories, uh, you know, kind of section where you can look at other people's podcasts and stuff like that. So I'm number two, I'm actually in the top 30 and I think I've got 12 or 11 12 in the top 30 so it's not too bad so yeah that's it so that's what I'm doing um, still thinking about maybe doing another podcast for the let me bore you to sleep sessions like a separate podcast just for them because I'm interested to see how they will grow it's, it's kind of weird because I don't want to use a Podomatic one for that because I'm already putting those sessions onto the sleep deeply. So maybe I might do, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I might just leave things as they are and not pay out any more money for now because before I got my money today, I was minus two pound in my bank account. Minus two pound, nearly 48. I had minus two pen. It's like zero money. What have I done with my life? Anyway, I want to go. You take care and just let you know with the um, what's it called? Pods. Patreon, 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 whatever it's called, dot com. There's a link on my website, jasonnewland.com as well. The they take over fifty percent of the money that you donate, like twenty percent on tax. They take thirty three percent or something on processing, and then another percentage for something or other like I think I might and then it goes into PayPal and then they charge money it's for, it's for it to get transferred so I'm going to end up with probably 30 pence in the pound maybe it's not really a great offer is it but if I can get enough people giving some money and 
enough to cover the costs of some of the stuff that I'm paying out for. It just make my life a bit easier. And if I, my money gets stopped and I suddenly don't have any money, I'm going to have to cancel a lot of stuff. And that will break my heart. I really will if I have to start um, closing down podcasts and getting rid of the website and stuff like that after all the work I put in. So I'm hoping not to do that. The very last thing that I would give up would be the SoundCloud podcast. Because all my stuff's on there. As long as that's all on there, it's safe. And as long as I can uh, pay the £8 a month for that, which is not a lot of money. But then I've heard on the grapevine, or not online actually, that SoundCloud may be in trouble. So if it is, I could lose that podcast. Which... It would, uh, yeah, it would upset me because I've put a lot of effort into it and it's promoted all over the internet. However, I've also got all the other podcasts, so it wouldn't be the end, you know. Anyway, I'm going now. Take care, yourselves. This has been me. You saw Andre for a little bit. Um, I'll probably go to bed in about an hour. No, I, just, I have this self doubt, real self doubt within myself that I just can't. It comes and it goes. I think there's something about, I'm doing it for free, therefore I can't fail, in a sense. I can fail in, in the idea that people don't download anything, but it's unlikely to happen, because people do download stuff, and they have done right from the beginning, on a smaller level, but I've, you know, I've always done okay with that stuff, and I've managed to reach an audience, and some of those people seem to like what I do. So I, I just, the idea of me asking for help from others and then not getting it is, is that rejection part. Then there's that part that thinks maybe my stuff is really crap and it's not useful and it's not well, well worth, you know, dollar or ten dollars a month or you know it's not worth any kind of help and there's that that's where the self-doubt comes in and I remember once I, I did a, I, I think I did um, a video on YouTube asking for donations but you can also donate on my website jasonnewland.com also on my jasonchats.com there's a download thing, it's a, a donate button if you want to donate anything. The thing is, I did a donation video asking people if they'd help. It was a few years ago, and someone posted a comment saying something like, um, Begging does not become you. Something like that. They put my name first as well, you know, to make it very personal. Jason trying to get my attention, I suppose. Begging does not become you. I wasn't begging. Weird. Didn't feel very nice. Really didn't. So I kind of tried to make this year start as I would like to carry on and to build what I do and continue to do that to do that for like another year to the end of this year and hopefully if I can turn 5,000 a week into 20,000 a week 
and that's a million a year. A million downloads, I mean, a year. I'll be happy with that. Even if I've got minus two pence in the bank, you know. I'm getting a million downloads. That means that someone somewhere is benefiting. It's got to be. It's someone somewhere has to be gaining some kind of benefit from what I'm doing. And then I can sleep at night, relaxed and calm, with my little smiley belly button. <laughs> I've got no idea what that meant. I've, I do have a belly button, but it really smiles. I don't know if it does. I'm gonna have to check that out later. Definitely collects dust. Is weird. So I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Thank you for just being here. You know, I realised that at the moment I'm talking to only a few people, just a few of you. That's all right. It doesn't matter. I'm not. This is you know more of a personal. This is my like my personal journal. Opening it up and just saying what I would say even you know because you know I thought about when I stopped doing the vlogs uh, a few days ago and I, I decided not to do it anymore of course now I'm back doing it but I thought maybe I should continue making vlogs but just make videos and just store them don't show anybody them but just talk and keep it as a video journal but it's actually the process of transferring the file onto the laptop and storing it so the easier in some ways to actually upload it to YouTube and then I can download it from YouTube which takes less storage they reduces the file and then upload it to Vimeo where it's stored so yeah that's what I'm doing so here I am uh, other than that that's it. I managed to talk for 42 minutes about nothing. That's my superpower. What's yours? See you later. And as Boston Chicky says in her video, which is on my Facebook page, I can't remember what she said. What did she say? You are worth it. That's not how she talks, sorry. I'm trying to do the Boston accent. You are. Hi, my name is Boston. No. That's not how she talks at all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think basically the, the gist of it was To remember that you actually you help people and even if you don't kind of have the intention to do that even or maybe when you're not having the intention to do that there are people in your life or maybe people that you don't even think of that you've touched in some way that you've affected in some way that has perhaps transformed their life and you may never ever get to know about it, ever. And it's worth remembering that, the fact that you make a difference. We all make a difference in our own way and in ways that we will never ever know. So wherever you are watching this from, whatever country, whatever room in your house, whether you're in a garage, whether you're sitting on a toilet, whatever, just remember that you've helped people in your life. You've made a difference. And you're worth 
making a difference to your own life. I'm being all deep and philosophical. These Jason chats aren't supposed to be that. It's supposed to be me being self-indulgent. That's the whole point of it. Self-indulgence, see. Anyway, you take care of and check out Boston Chica. I think she's, she might have a YouTube channel again, uh, be blogging again, but she's it's a cool dude, she is. And if she has got a YouTube channel, just check out Boston Chicky um, on YouTube. She's a, she's a lovely lady. I'm gonna go, you take care of yourselves, bye.